Yes, I finally got the AirPods. I almost said EarPods. Believe it or not, they arrived a little while ago, but there was a lot of things going on moving studios and then CES, and it's like, I haven't looked at them yet. You guys got a lot of questions about these things. You're like, are they any good? Is our future completely wireless? Are they just ear pods with the cords cut off? I don't know. So that's what we're here for. We're gonna find out, are the AirPods any good or do they suck? Do they suck? Does it suck? Whatever. Apple has essentially taken the ear pod, but now they made it wireless. It's using a, a completely new method of pairing to your device. It's a whole new look right inside your iPhone when connecting to these. Now, they will also work with Android devices and other Bluetooth devices, but you won't have all that fancy pairing going on. So here's what the package looks like, and you can see on the back, there's a little case that comes with it, a charging case, looks like some, some dental floss, and that keeps some extra battery in it that charges these things up even when you're away from an outlet. As you know, there's been some criticism with the latest iPhone ditching the traditional headphone jack, but it's pretty obvious that that's a move to push people in the direction of the wireless earphone slash headphone space. You guys remember Apple also owns Beats Audio. Okay, a little bit of paperwork about the AirPods. Then you had the AirPods themselves. Like I said, I mean, it's almost exactly like a dental floss case. And then underneath there, your charging cable it uses the lightning connector. So probably have an abundance of those already. So those will work. Now, a lot of people kind of have a, a love-hate relationship with their ear pods as it is right now. But this is different because now you're buying a peripheral, you're spending money, extra money on headphones. So your expectations are kind of gonna be a little bit elevated. Lightning connector goes in the bottom. Now this guy on the top flips up. Yeah, there's a little magnet in there. The ear pods pull out like that. I mean, they're not the most attractive things in the world. Some people said it looks like a toothbrush sticking out of your ear or an earring or something like that. Let me just see here. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's a weird look. They are small and very lightweight, so I feel, I feel free. It's not the tightest fit in the game, I will say that. Of course, Apple here with the AirPod, just like the EarPod, has a one size fits all. There's no tips you put on here. They either fit you great or, or they don't. Now, the other thing to remember is these things also have microphones, right? Because you should be able to trigger certain events by speaking directly to them or by talking and taking phone calls. Maybe that has something to do with the design as well, the, the, the shape of the thing. For me, this evaluation right here has more to do with the sound and the fit. And so far, th these are okay in my ears they're comfortable at least. Now, the real thing is this ability to pair with your iPhone in a far simpler fashion than a pair of generic Bluetooth earbuds. Oh wow, okay cool. In my opinion, that's why you're buying these things and not buying these things is for that right there. Smooth as butter, look at this. Open it up, ask you if you wanna connect. Speed, that's the killer app. So look at that, I just press connect. And that's it, the battery life of the AirPods themselves and then also the remaining battery on the case. Now these babies go in and now it's time for the musical evaluation. The real question here for me is are these things an upgrade over the regular EarPods or are they just a wireless version of it? Play some real quick. Okay, listen. I like a lot of volume on my headphones. And one of the things I've been noticing about fully wireless headphones, whether they're Bluetooth or these ones, I'm not getting a ton of volume. Now it's probably better for my hearing in the long run, but I like a, I like a thump to it, you know? What if you are on Android? Then what does the process look like? Is it this button on the back? Yeah, okay, cool. That button, now I see AirPods. I mean, that's pretty easy as well. Now let's try this out. Sound is, is essentially identical. Even on Android, I'd say it's a, it's a little bit easier than some of the competitors in the fully wireless space because some of those were like, turn on the one earbud and then wait 14 seconds, look at the moon and howl and then the other one comes online. You know, it's like, it's a bit of a, truthfully, I'm a little surprised Apple made them compatible. You, you know the way they are with the proprietary stuff. You get the added functionality with their phone, but hey, 
Android people, you can use them. You probably won't, but you can. Let's give these a shot. Now I wonder if I plug these in, if it's just gonna immediately switch over to them. Now the first thing I'm noticing is the fit is actually not identical. This one does have a little bit more depth to it. Less isolation with these than those right off the bat. But let's see if this just switches over instantly when I play this. It does. Okay, let me just switch back real quick. The sound attributes are very similar and I think I actually got a little bit more volume out of these. So I think these are a purchase of convenience, right? To have the nice little pack that goes with it and to not have the potential pairing woes associated with a wireless pair of headphones. The convenience is actually a, a big, huge component here. And then you mix in the fact that you're not tied down strictly to iOS. Like you could use these with Android if you really wanted to. From a sound perspective, it's hard to get fired up, you know what I mean? Like, I've listened to very expensive headphones, earphones, earbuds, you name it. And you can tell from my reaction normally. When it comes to reactions, you can't fake it. Like, you saw me. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't jumping out of my chair. They sound essentially like the things that were already included with your iPhone, except without a cable. Is that cool? Is that good? Or does that suck? It, hard for me to say it sucks and I'll tell you why. Listen up real quick. Progress, getting to the next level, pushing people towards whatever that next thing is. It's always a little bit painful. There's always drawbacks along the way, but somebody has to step in and do it. And a lot of people out there are gonna, gonna be saying, but wait, Apple wasn't the first person with fully wild earbuds. It's true, they, they, they weren't. And very rarely are they the first. But the difference is when it gets adopted by Apple, more people get into the game, more people use it. They have crazy distribution, crazy branding. And so people put these things in their pocket and it pushes other manufacturers who might make something more that I would like and you would like to adopt those technologies because the marketplace expands rapidly when Apple does something. Whether you like Apple or not, their influence is vast in the game. I can say the sound, I'm not happy with the sound. The convenience is an A plus though. If you're in the game for sound, I'll show you 300 pairs of headphones. You can stick an amp on it and zone out. You can hit the next dimension. That's what I'm about. Jack, that's a different story.